Jeep Wagoneer S and Recon EVS coming in 2024. Along with new plug-in hybrid models, Jeep's new CEO, Antonio Filosa, has laid out the brand's roadmap for future product launches and strategy. Speaking to journalists at a press event, Filosa said the all-electric Wagoneer S will be pressed into production later this year. The first examples of the battery-powered SUV will leave the assembly line in the second quarter, with sales officially starting in Q3. With sporty styling and strong performance, we expect the Wagoneers to arrive as a road-biased SUV that will compete with the Cadillac Lyrigan Mercedes EQE SUV. With 600 horsepower on tap, it can hit 60 muffin less than 3.5 seconds, according to manufacturer estimates. The Wagoneer S will be the first Jeep independent by the STLA large platform. The more rugged Recon, an electric alternative to the Wrangler, is expected to launch before 2024 concludes. The Toledo-based automaker has yet to say when the Recon will enter production, but we assume it will have a reasonably long run for me though has our chobbies. Jeep aims to sell 10,000 battery electric vehicles before the end of the year, so the brand expects strong sales from its two upcoming models. Filosa is not concerned that the electric subs will cannibalize each other's sales, noting that they are aimed at different people. Demand for electric vehicles has swung recently, with several car makers reassessing their electrification strategies. JLR is focusing more on hybrids and plug in hybrids, and Mercedes Benz has decided to do the same. Jeep's Wrangler 4X is one of the best selling PHEVs in the United States, so it would make sense for the company to expand its hybrid lineup. Jeep has yet to confirm which hybrid models will arrive between now, 2025, but there's a possibility the Gladiator will finally get the hype treatment. Jeep hopes to sell 175,000 PHEVs by the end of 2024. We expect the Compass, Cherokee, and possibly the Grand Cherokee to receive facelifts in the coming months. These vehicles may also receive 4X hybrid driver trains alongside other mid-cycle updates. The Wrangler and Gladiator both received a nip-tuck this year, with the latter receiving reduced pricing. The Grand Cherokee has also received hefty price cuts. Filosa also said Jeep will cut costs by negotiating with suppliers to keep costs down for ice and battery electric vehicles. The upmarket Wagoneer lineup kept separate from the Jeep range will now feature additional Jeep branding for a more united front. The CEO describes the company's previous branding efforts as a bit confused, reports Automotive News. In the future, Jeep will consult with dealerships more closely for feedback and suggestions. We are working with the dealers and listening to them on a daily basis, said Filosa.